Hello, Luigi Tramontane from Craft Animations. I am going to show you the scale ruler. And a ruler is something you measure with, and in this case, you measure scales in some sort of some form or, or, or another. And why are there two um, spheres here? Well, the first sphere is something you parent this sphere to because it's red, that's something you should parent to something. And the green one is a comparing sphere, you could say. Now, if we open up the input parameters here, we can see that we have current scale x, y, z. And let's just try that because this one right now has obviously scale, okay, it's scale 100, but uh, it's relative to this one. So if I hit record here now, and I grab this sphere, and I scale it, let's see what happens see the numbers grow here and if I scale it non-uniformly well then it gets it in its local uh, scale direction the value it has there and uh, what's interesting here also is that you have some stuff called max and minimum angles and then you have percentage of minimum uh, divided by max there so if I have a minimum scale of 1 here which is this one uh, just to compare it with then if I scale this one so that it becomes uh, large here then I will reach a scale that that uh, passes this uh, maximum scale here a minimum and why is that important here well it's not important as such it's just that you can use this because everything we do in uh, Craft Director Studio we do through communicating through virtual inputs. Now usually you use an input that uh, let me just undo this uh, you usually use an input device such as uh, I have a gamepad here and uh, buttons and uh, thumbsticks and with this one you usually control something that's I mean this is a real input right but we can uh, we in the in the uh, software here we create virtual inputs and these virtual inputs can then of course be used to to control other things in the scene uh, for some reason or another uh, to couple things together that's how we communicate with uh, with other tools when we have them simultaneously running here so let's just create a uh, 1D positioner here for example or actually since this is an active scaler we should perhaps uh, create a one a, a uh, an active scaler now that's another tutorial which you can watch so don't uh, um, bother so much why it's called that so this scaler here has uh, if we open up the input devices it can be bound to different uh, inputs so if I want to scale the forward and backward scale here I would use an input device and uh, for example the joystick here I could detect it to be the y-axis here but uh, and then it would be bound here and uh, as soon as I hit record here I could scale that axis like that and I haven't bound the other ones so they are zero uh, and of of course I can now uh, bind the XYZ here and let's actually change these minimum scales to 1 here and the maximum to 2 say so that we we can get so that we see the the scale all the time here like that and uh, what I can do now instead of binding it to a, a an input I look at the I manually bind it and I can bind it to the keyboard but in this case there's a third input device here called the scale ruler 01 now that is of course the input device that I have been talking about the virtual input device that this uh, fellow here creates so let's choose that one scale ruler 1 and uh, here we have all of these different uh, values that we can choose from and uh, Let's just choose the x uh, scale value here. So if 
if I rotate this a little bit like that then you can see what happens and uh, then in this one we choose it again and choose the Y value and then the third one to have the Z and if I hit record now I can uh, yeah so this is one and uh, if I now scale this uh, to increase in the in the y direction well then I increase it in the y direction right there uh, scale ruler and we can see that the z scale increases there so that's the up down scale that was bound to the z value which is this direction here and if I scale everything well then I scale the whole thing here so you see I'm actually controlling the input value of this one with this sphere here and uh, this can be useful in many situations but I would say that uh, one of the most uh, interesting features here is the binding of uh, uh, these trigger values so let's check out those here and uh, now these are quite difficult to see here so you need to you need to actually select it to to see what it is uh, so you see x trigger value uh, and uh, maximum trigger value x trigger value maximum y trigger value and maximum z trigger value so what does that mean well it means that this one will output uh, zero if I'm smaller uh, if I'm if I have a scale uh, it will output one if the scale is smaller than this maximum value and uh, one if it's above so if we if we just scale for example this uh, scale here to over 10 then we'll see one what what happens here you see since I'm above this maximum value I will output 1 and as soon as this scale value here is below 10 then it will go back to uh, the the zero value which is scale 1 for this one so it's actually triggering when I pass that uh, particular value and uh, the same goes for the other ones you see I can scale this one without nothing happening here and then when I finally reach when I finally reach 10 in scale here then this will trigger a scale you see there bang yeah so uh, that's how how the triggers work and the same goes for the neg um, minimum scale if it if it's below uh, that uh, minimum scale then it will output one and this is one if it out if it's larger than so it's the opposite way around and this can be used for many things as I said uh, when you want to check uh, some scales for example if, if something is scaling in a direction or something uh, this is for a complex scene now when you make things interact with each other but uh, you sh for sure you can you can have have um, uh, many usages for this one and the last thing I will check here is the is the active scaler and change this one to the percentage so X Y and Z now what is this well it's simply the percentage that this one has moved between the maximum and minimum scale so I can scale this uh, up and down and uh, and uh, we will see what happens here you see it increases to 1 when it's above scale 1 here uh, and then when it passes when it comes into the let's see here yeah, so it, it outputs the minimum. Thank you.